backfill this front area. At first I thought me and Ryan could do it with my tractor and his bobcat, but it would just take forever. And it's tough on my tractor, the front axle, keeping it in four-wheel drive is tough on that axle and I need four-wheel drive to dig into the pile. There's deer crunching in the woods right to my left. I skipped hunting this morning. So this is what him and I managed to do, mostly Ryan. But you can see here, we gotta fill probably a good four feet for this entire front. And then we gotta fill another 14, 16 inches here for the entire width of the driveway and bring it all the way back to somewhere around where I'm standing right now. Better look at what's got to be filled up here by the garage. And actually Ryan got a good, good amount of fill in here. And then the front. By the end of today, it should be back dragged probably all the way about right to here. All the way across. We are on the 16th. The boys are buttoning up. And the big front end loader is going to work. Here's a look at the side. We're going to be filling the side, the front, the side, and a little bit of the back of the garage. It's a four yard bucket. going to bring the back up roughly three feet because we don't have that much space here that tree line and we're going to flatten it out Okay, we got some progress. Oh, look at a hot rod action over there. Popping a wheelie. Look at this, we got the big grader cutting, uh, that's gonna be the water drainage and Ryan going to work grading. Oh, she looks a lot different already. Four view out back here. We're, I'm gonna have them push all this scrubby stuff in a little bit so we could see past that beautiful big hickory. So that should open up the view a little bit to the left here. Well, I missed them cleaning all this up at these last couple of small oaks. He's gonna push in, that should really make the view nice. Stubborn oaks. That stump is still in there.
popped it off. Jim Bob's being really careful not to get too close to any of them. A little nick with that thing and it busts the concrete right off. So back three feet. I gotta walk over here to tape the very last piece of decking going up. back side this part is meant to be level so Ryan can still get the big orange crane on it looking good Ryan just gonna have a couple more buckets of dirt to feather this here off and it'll be good and here's the side that's what they're working on right now sweet here's a better look at the grading it's kind of dried out a little bit now And the porch is done with some Tyvek wrap on it. Yeah, now you look at it and it barely looks like it's high enough out of the ground. You look from down here and the way this hill comes down, we still need to not cut some of that in to get flow over that way and then right where I'm standing. But that is so hard that even with that big front end loader, uh, he couldn't even cut into it so this has to settle out a little bit for the final grading up here <laughs> 